Hello, is all right? Welcome back to today's video. I hope you guys are good and today we are doing another tutorial video and this time I am going to be taking you through step by step how to make your own comic strip. Uh, this is aimed at people of any skill level, uh, mainly at beginners and it was just highly requested to make. So since my last Garfield comic strip did so well, I thought there'd be no better comic to do than another Garfield one. So let's just get into it. So first of all, I'm going to quickly run through the materials that I use. However, these materials are not essential and you can use whatever you've got right now, but I use regular printer paper, uni pen fine liners and a hoo-hoo brush markers. Uh, but you can just make sure you have a pencil, ruler, paper and you're sorted. Um, but yeah, so first things first, you're gonna need to plan your comic. So I usually find scenes from TV shows, screenshot the key scenes that are important to the story and then usually when I'm making a full page comic, uh, this requires a lot of condensing uh, but for this comic we're just going to do three boxes just to keep things simple. Here I've drawn two large boxes and one smaller box with the measurements along either side. First of all, you need to measure one centimetre from the top of the page and the left hand side of the page to create a sort of border. So when it's all finished, it just looks really neat. Uh, and then you want to draw a box 5.5 centimetres down and 6.4 centimetres across. Then you measure a space between them of one centimetre and draw the next box 5.5 centimetres down again and then four centimetres across. And then the last box is the same as the first. You leave a one centimetre gap and then draw a box of 5.5 centimetres down and 6.4 centimetres across. I know it is very awkward to measure, um, but yeah, so you should have something that looks like this and then in future you can try a different size boxes, uh, so you can do larger boxes like this or you can use a more complex layout, uh, like this one made by a good friend of mine, One Might ER. So now we're ready to start the real drawing. Before I start, I uh, lightly sketch out the characters to make sure that everything will fit onto the page, including all the speech I want to include. It's important that when you write in your speech, you should do this in capital letters, and this just makes it clear, easy to read, and then plus it just looks cool and like a proper professional comic strip, I guess. So, let's start filling in the boxes, and then it will be time to outline. So when you're outlining, if you don't have these pens, don't worry, but if you do have fine liners like these, uh, then the different numbers indicate the thickness of the pen. So with this in mind, I use a 0.8 to outline the boxes, I use a 0.3 to outline the characters, and then a thin fine liner like a 0.1 for the background to make everything in the foreground stand out. If you're just starting out, don't worry about this next bit. Um, one thing I like to think about is line weight. So once you've got your basic outline, you can start to thicken some of the lines. Just it doesn't really matter where, just do it in a random pattern. And it kind of just makes things look a lot nicer and a lot cleaner. And if you do mess up like any of your lines, then you can go back over and make it thicker and no one will even know. Um, but yeah, so once you've got all your outline undone, it's time to colour. So before you start this, you need to make sure you've got all your pencil marks and then you want to start colouring. So I use a hoo-hoo brush markers, but you can just use any pens that you've got, but I recommend these, they're absolutely amazing. Uh, when you're colouring, you want to go in circular motions. It just means that when you're colouring, if you're going in circular motions, there's going to be no overlap of colours, so it's all very smooth and neat and it just looks a lot nicer. And so yeah, once you're done with that, we're pretty much finished. But I hope this kind of helped people with their own comic strips. Uh, I know this was highly requested uh, due to the view count of the, one of my comic strip videos. Um, and I've got a lot of people asking me to do tutorials. So I've decided to do this one. Uh, so if it helped, let me know in the comments if you want me to do more stuff like this as well. Um, but yeah, we should be streaming tonight. We're going to be doing some really terrible digital art uh, on Microsoft Paint. But I hope you guys enjoy. Um, so yeah, I'll see you guys next week or in the stream tonight. See you guys later.